Now, when I was a kid, I may have peed in a pool or two or three or four, whatever, it doesn't matter now. Nonetheless, I quickly realized that this was a nasty habit. I mean, no one ever looks into a toilet bowl and says, man, pissing in this toilet bowl sure makes me wish I could go to the pool. You have never said that. And if you have, you are weird and nasty, mostly nasty. Welcome back or welcome to John Armstrong Media. If you like drone footage, videos about movies, science, weird news and comics, hit that subscribe button and click the bell beside it to stay up to date on the latest videos. Surveys and studies have confirmed that people often pee in the pool without hesitation or moral trepidation. In other words, people couldn't care less. According to a survey conducted by MedicalDaily.com, link will be in the description box below, 25% of those that participated admitted to peeing in a public pool and 43% didn't shower before going into the pool. Now I can already hear some genius in the heckler hater section saying, urine is sterile, therefore it poses no health risks. My response to you is that you can have a seat and drink a gallon of pee infested pool water if you think that's true. When it comes to urine mixed with disinfectant chemicals, that assumption could not be more wrong. MedicalDaily.com also points out that uric acid, a byproduct of urine, mixes with chlorine to form cyanogen chloride. This is a gas that could be harmful to the central nervous system, heart, and lungs when inhaled. Peeing in the pool could be the cause of 24 to 68 percent of cyanogen chloride in pools. Now there are other chemical byproducts and hazards of peeing in the pool, but I won't bore you with that. The point is, peeing in a pool and not taking a shower before entering a pool is nasty and poses potential health risks. Taking a shower before entering the pool removes sweat and cosmetics that can mix with chlorine to create chemical irritants in pool water. The chief of the CDC's Healthy Swimming Program also told CBS Cleveland that these irritants, not the chlorine itself, cause red eyes when we swim and the strong chemical smell of some pools, end quote. I need to teach my babies how to swim this summer, and I would like to avoid as much toilet water as possible. Thank you for your time. Tap or click one of the videos on your cell phone or computer screen and check out some of my other work as well. I am John Armstrong Media, and I approve this public safety message.